I cannot stand watching conservatives like Kevin McCarthy was doing it this weekend, soon to be Speaker of the House, talking about how this is about the First Amendment. Joe Biden was not an elected office. He was a candidate. Mm, that's liberal commentator Jessica Tarlov on Fox News destroying the Fox News and conservative talking points about the Hunter Biden laptop story. Talking point number one, that the Bidens somehow squelched the First Amendment by asking Twitter to remove a New York Post story about Hunter Biden. As Tarlov said, Joe Biden wasn't in office yet and had not yet won election. Talking point number two, that the Biden computer hard drive contained evidence of illegal business deals and corruption. Nope. He was a candidate. And what his team, according to the Matt Taibbi files, and I think it's in tweet 10 where we're talking about this, what they wanted taken down, the links that he provided, were pictures of his son's penis. Now, you tell me as a parent, there are parents at the table. People have run for office. Mm -hmm. If God so for it wasn't about the 10 percent for the big guy. No. Well, it wasn't. Then show me the link about right. that. But the right. Because there is no link. There is no link. There are no emails on the Hunter Biden laptop or hard drive that show Hunter Biden or his father or anybody else did anything illegal in these deals in the Ukraine and China. The Hunter Biden laptop did have some personally embarrassing photos and texts. But guess what? Based on the exhaustive reporting of journalist Matt Taibbi, Twitter executives also agreed to restrict things on the platform related to another political leader at the time. Hmm, who could that be? Oh yeah, Donald Trump. Taibbi also admitted that the Trump campaign asked for content moderation, yes. and then he left those links out. Why did he not tell us what the actual government was asking to have taken down when you're telling us what Joe Biden's team asked to be taken down? And by the way, that's a violation of the terms of service. That's not even a favor. That's someone pinging someone at Twitter and saying, hey, this is revenge Wait, porn. Think, I mean, well, they so that's Tarlov noting that journalist Matt Taibbi, with help from Twitter owner and billionaire Elon Musk, did an exhaustive examination of what the Biden campaign in the fall of 2020 wanted the platform to restrict regarding Hunter Biden. But Taibbi and Musk do not seem to care about what the actual government, led by Donald Trump, was asking Twitter to restrict. All of this conservative drivel about Twitter helping the Bidens in the fall of 2020 has been in the news because of efforts by Elon Musk to focus on it. And the political right in the United States, which loves to claim victimhood, sees an opportunity to damage Democrats and the Bidens. But it's not working. And the fact that these conservative arguments are getting demolished so smoothly on Fox News shows how thin and flimsy the right-wing effort really is. Now, a little bit about Jessica Tarlov. It's not easy to be a liberal star on a conservative network. Tarlov graduated from Bryn Mawr, an elite private college in Pennsylvania. She got a PhD in political science at the London School of Economics. A PhD, in other words, Dr. Tarlov, as we like to say in academic circles, is no dummy. And it means she talks circles around nearly everybody at Fox News. Tarlov got her start there by working for political strategist Doug Schoen, who recommended Tarlov to the network. These days, Tarlov is a regular contributor to The Five. It's a show where she alternates with former Democratic Congressman Harold Ford Jr. and veteran TV star Geraldo Rivera against four conservatives. Now, given the way that Tarlov owns the conservative hosts, including Greg Gutfeld and Jesse Waters, it's not unusual to see internet chatter that Tarlov's days at Fox are numbered. A few months ago, after she gave a strong defense of Joe Biden's record, predictions of her demise went into overdrive. But for now, Jessica Tarlov is still there. So if you want to see conservatives get intellectually slaughtered, watch her. The Hunter Biden laptop story may seem appetizing to conservatives, but it's a big nothing burger, as Jessica Tarlov keeps demonstrating in epic fashion. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.